So yesterday we maintained our APP configuration. So in ECC system. But uh, our students is asking, please maintain. Please run APP in SAP S4 ANA also. OK, so then today we will try to maintain those are all settings in SAP S4 ANA and uh, we will try to run APP program in <coughs> SAP S4 ANA system. OK, so before going into this session, so whoever still they will get uh, they don't know exactly the prerequisite configurations or the explanation regarding APP. So please go through our earlier video. So yes. he maintained those video. So please go through that video and please check that video. So in that video, I explained very clearly what are the prerequisites and why we are maintained. These are all settings before F110 and what is the necessity and especially in FBJP configuration like uh, these two steps which is related to company codes and do, these two is related to payment methods and the last two is related to banks. Likewise yesterday video, so I cleared very clearly, so it will take nearly one hour, 10 minutes like that. So anyone wa watch this video first time, so please go through that video yesterday video. So in that video I maintain the total configuration part. So now I will not interested to explain one more time. OK, so next. And while we are running in APP, four piece is very, very important. Yesterday we discussed in that video also. So the first one is parameters. So in that parameters, based on these parameters only, system will pick the invoices. And APP, we know the meaning automatic payment program. This is the tool which is provided by the SAP. By using this tool, we are may, we are making the payments automatically to our vendors. OK, but in APP here, four piece is very, very important. So the first P is parameters. Second one is proposal. Third one is payment and fourth one is print. So whatever parameters you can provide in this. Session, so based on these parameters only system will pick the invoices. Am I correct or not? So in that parameters, we will maintain our company codes, payment method, next posting period and vendor also we need to specify and later we can go to proposal and we can cross check that proposal whether the proposal is currently maintained by the system or not. Is there any uh, deletions invoices is needed or is there any removal of invoices needed? Those are all things we will be doing in proposal. So once the proposal is not good, then we can delete that proposal also and one more time we can create that proposal and the next one is payment to vendor final the uh, the third piece finally we are making payment to vendor and the fourth one is we can print that payment related documents for example if you are running our app with the uh, method payment method is checked then we need to use this p also print so this is the entire structure already yesterday i discussed very clearly and these are all things we discussed yesterday so now today we will go in. We will see in SAP S4 ANA system. So this is the SAP S4 ANA. So the version is 1909 on premise version. So in this version today I will try to post. I will try to run my APP. So before going APP, so first of all we can cross check our FBJP prerequisite configurations. So here we have six steps. Two is related to company codes. Two is related to payment methods and two is related to house banks. So now if I go to this one, all company codes. So here I will maintain my company code as GA10. And within that here you can see I will be maintain my company code and paying company is GA10. So I will be maintained like this in all company codes data. OK, and the next one is. Paying company codes in paying company codes also if you see I maintain my configuration part like this, like my paying company is GA10 and uh, minimum amount for outgoing like uh, this one. I can use it for only vendors. So that's the reason only I maintain this amount. OK, and the next very, very important point is this is the very, very important. So we need to maintain our form. OK, so I will be maintained like this and. 
the next transaction payment methods in country so here i will take my payment method is d like india checks and here document type for payment and clearing document type i will be maintained zp and zb so here this is my payment uh, method check so yesterday we run the app program with the help of bank transfer so today we will run with the help of payment method check this is the different scenario right so and here i need to maintain my payment medium program and the name of print data set these are all things i maintain like this so then go to company code payment method so within that i will be maintain my payment method so d and here i will mention my minimum amount and maximum amounts and i select my payment for due date and uh, no optimization and form date also here i will select my form as premium check so likewise i will be maintain my configurations that's it okay and later so in bank determination if you check our bank determination settings so like i will be maintain my ranking order like this okay so here i will be maintain my payment method d is first place i will be maintain my currency inr and f the uh, currency is usd so likewise i will be maintain in this place and if you check bank account so i will be maintain this this values also and i will mapping my gl accounts to particular this bank accounts also i mapped this area and where it comes to house banks so here i will show you house banks also how i will maintain house banks and all so here you can see if you go to this one so here i maintain my two house banks so within that house banks i will be maintain my bank accounts like this usually we knows very well so in sap as for on a system if you want to maintain your house bank so definitely you can maintain in fiori only so this is the fiori interface and within that fiori i will be maintain my house bank like this okay and here i will be connecting my house bank this is also very very important so house bank i will connect with my bank account okay i will be maintain like this so now we are uh, try to post one invoice by using fb60 so what is the flow usually uh, which flow we are using for app so before running app we need to maintain our fbzp configuration this is the first thing am i correct so later once the fbzp configuration is completed so in within that fbzp six steps already i showed you and the next one is we need to maintain one vendor invoice with the help of what is the transaction code fb60 so then i will run the app by using f110 okay so once the invoice is posted we can see the open item for vendor by using fbl1 and transaction code and once app is run later we can see by using same transaction code the open items of the particular vendor so we can main we can see like this okay so now we already checked the fbzp configuration now we can uh, post one vendor invoice by using fb60 so here fb60 is the transaction code and here i will maintain my vendor so right now i have only one demander so invoice date today date i will be maintain in this place and here i will be maintain amount as 17000 so here which gl account we need to maintain raw material inventory account correct so here i will be maintain my raw material inventory account and balance is 17000 and here cost center is also mandatory so i will be maintain my cost center in this place then i will go to payment tab okay so test is also mandatory reference test3 then i will go to payment tab so here my payment method is i will be maintained d and house bank i need to maintain so i need to select my house bank 2 so i will be selecting like this okay so then click on post so my vendor is posted so if you want to see that invoice go to 
display and here this is my vendor invoice general entry and if you want to see ledger view also you can see like this so the main difference between entry view and general ledger view is the this one so in entry view we can find our vendor name and where it comes to general ledger view we can find instead of vendor ledger we can uh, see our accounts payable so this is the difference between entry view to general ledger view so now we posted one when uh, one invoices to this vendor right so then i will check that uh, vendor open items by using a bl1 n so then i will be maintained uh, open items and click on execute and here you can see my open item balance is 17000 so this one i need to repay with the help of app so what is the transaction code f110 and here i will be maintained as 3 and first one is go to parameters and i need to select my company code and payment method is d and next posting date i will be maintained into 18 like this and i will maintain my vendor number also in this place next go to additional log i need to select due date check payment methods in selection and line items and here also i will be maintain my vendor in this place then click on save then based on my parameters already entered and later i will go with proposal so then i will select start immediately so then click on enter so my proposal is also created so then go to edit proposal i can see my proposals so here you can see there is no exception list this is in green color and if you want to see vendor so this one we were paying with the help of app right so then go back go back and here click on payment run so then i will start immediately only payment run so payment run is running so payment is also completed and one generated and one completed so it means our app is run successfully in sap s4 on our system also okay so then i will show you the fbl1 and 5n so vendor uh, balances and here if i click execute then here you can see there is no item selected it means there is no open items so earlier uh, what we can see in this place we have one open item the uh, the invoice value is 17000 now it is not in open item so it means it is in cleared items am i correct if i go to click on execute so then here you can see this is the all list of clear items and here you can see my cleared item is this one 16 to 17000 kr for what is this document type kr for invoice posting right and jp is the payment uh, document type for app so this jp where we maintain so can anyone have any idea especially this document type so we maintained in fb jp and in payment methods in country and within that d and here you can see we maintain our document payment type is zp so that's the reason only so while we are clearing the accounting by using app we are getting the document type will be zp like this so this is the entire app run in 1909 version of sap s4 hana okay so then tomorrow onwards i will try to make some more videos which is related to app with different scenarios already yesterday i showed you okay regarding this configuration and regarding explanation anyone have any doubts and all please go through our earlier configuration earlier video part one and part two so then you will get the complete idea okay so that's it from my end so any doubts no doubts okay so then we can close this session. Thank you. Thank you all of you.